Hi everyone and welcome. Today I will be looking at five things you can say to a narcissist that will bruise their ego, make them question their image and influence, make them uncomfortable, hurt their feelings and dare I say even destroy them. This is not an exhaustive list so there are others that you can probably come up with yourself. Just about Anything that attacks their image or what is important to them should suffice. So depending on the narcissist you have to deal with, you would be able to rephrase any of these to suit your situation. But the point is, narcissists are very fragile, insecure and fake people who cannot handle the truth or criticism. These things that you can say may cause a narcissistic injury and a negative reaction or they can get the narcissist to be silent and even avoid being around you. It all depends on the relationship you currently have with that narcissist. Saying no is not one of them because we should all know by now that narcissists hate that word. They want all their requests to be granted. You turning them down and telling them no pisses them off. But it is because of that sense of entitlement that they hold to so dearly. They think too highly of themselves and have high expectations, but it's to make up for the true feelings of worthlessness that they feel inside. Narcissists project onto the masses everything that they know they are not so you don't get to see the true broken evil depressed tormented soul that they really are so the phrases that i'm going to go into actually reminds the narcissist of the worthlessness that they try so hard to hide if you've seen my video about having an attitude of being unbothered, a few of the phrases I will go through will add to this. You being unbothered makes the narcissist feel irrelevant and thus brings on those feelings of worthlessness. And anyone that makes them feel that way, they will want to avoid. Before I get into what the different sayings are, I must make it clear that who you are to the narcissist matters. The narcissist needs to see you as somewhat as their equal or superior for these sayings to have a profound effect. Remember that narcissists look down on people. They are very judgmental of others. So who says these things I am going to talk about matters heavily. You need to be someone they are seeking a relationship with or their superior in the family unit, workplace, church or any other social setting. But let's get started. The first one is I don't believe you. Narcissists lie a lot. Their image is a lie. Their personality is a lie. The emotions that they demonstrate in public are lies. What they tell you is probably a lie. So if you are done entertaining their crap, just saying I don't believe you will throw a big spanner in the works. Narcissists work hard to get people to believe their lies. So depending on who you are to them, this statement will leave them shaken. Their response would be to give you the silent treatment and it's because narcissists are extremists and their justification will be that you don't believe anything they say so there is no point telling you anything. The narcissist is hoping that this will be enough for you to retract your statement, apologize and to start believing them again. But it's very important that you don't and to not even acknowledge the silent treatment if possible. The second thing you can say follows on nicely and it's I don't trust you. 
If you believe a narcissist, then you are more likely to trust them as well. The narcissist knows how important it is to have the trust of the people around them. That is how they get away with a lot of the mischief they get up to. And I have covered that in great detail in this video. Your trust is essential to the narcissist. So if they know they have lost your trust, this will be very distressing to them. And it would make them very uncomfortable because every word and action will be in question and the covert narcissist cannot function in such an environment and will be trying desperately to get out. The covert narcissist especially needs their fake persona to be believed, but more importantly, they want the trust of the people around them in order for them to be at ease so that they can focus on carrying out their evil intentions. The third thing you can say to a narcissist, which will rock their world and destroy their fake confidence, is, I'm not impressed with you. The narcissist's aim is to present an image that is not only trustworthy but impressive. The narcissist lives to impress others. They want you to recognize and acknowledge their accomplishments. They want you to be in awe of the things that they have managed to achieve. What a narcissist does is more for the attention and praise of the people around them. So if after all that you are not impressed, this will destroy the narcissist. They are already secretly not satisfied with everything they have accomplished and that's why they keep going for more and more. But any devil can get a qualification. A good character is of more true value. The fourth thing you can say to a narcissist is, I'm not afraid of you. The narcissist wants respect that comes from a place of fear. They like when people walk on eggshells around them. It makes them feel powerful. This is why they like managerial or leadership positions, so that they can bully and manipulate people into doing what they want out of fear of being sacked, demoted, shunned or excommunicated. Standing up to a narcissist and letting them know you are not afraid of them or what they can do will provoke the narcissist to test that theory. So please keep that in mind. But if you know that you are in a position where what the narcissist does truly will not bother you, then tell them how powerless you think they really are and that you are not afraid of them. Take your power back. Take your life back from these toxic individuals. Okay, so the fifth thing you can say to a narcissist that will really get their back up is, I disagree with you. Narcissists hate opposition and confrontation. So if they are trying to convince you of something or trying to get you to buy into their logic and you outright disagree, they may at first try to persuade you but if you hold your ground, they will get really frustrated and try to change the subject. Narcissists believe you should see the world and people as they do. They want you to agree with their line of thinking and hold opinions that are in favor with theirs. If you are a very opinionated person, the narcissist will not want to be around you because you will be constantly challenging their way of thinking and they don't like that. Disagreeing with a narcissist is a clear sign to them that you are strong-willed and will not be easily swayed. But it also lets the narcissist know that you don't revere them as you should, so they will look to turn others against you so that others will not like you either and hopefully push you out of that social group. So to conclude, there are things that you can say that will hurt the narcissist, but always consider the consequences as well. At the end of the day, what all this shows is that the narcissist hates what they cannot control. You not being impressed by them, not trusting them, 
not agreeing with them are clear signs to the narcissist that you are not buying what they are selling. Their false image and persona hasn't captivated you, so they see you as a threat to their existence. As usual, thanks for watching and please leave me a comment below. I read every single one.